Oh yeah, this is a very active area. If you look on the reports of the on Google, a lot of people talk about this area as very quiet all the time. I because there's a big creature around here. <laughs> you usually have a tendency to shut the uh, woods down. Alabama Paranormal and Bigfoot. How's everybody doing? Uh, hope everybody had a great Christmas, a great New Year's. We're going to have some new things start happening on the channel. Every Wednesday, I'm going to have a uh, five-minute Bigfoot video. It will be interviews with people. It will be some stuff that I see in the woods, tree snaps, tree breaks. Uh, some of them might be a five-minute investigation where I just set the camera down where a sighting has occurred. And so get ready. Remember on Saturdays at 6 o'clock every two weeks and every Wednesday. We'll make every Wednesday at 6 o'clock too. Uh, just be ready for that. Some good exciting things are fixing to start happening for Alabama Paranormal and Bigfoot. And uh, it's going to be a great year. We are back in the area, like I said, where the guy was found... Uh, torn apart and this is a new tree snap right here this is new I have a former police officer with me he's retired now he wants to look at the area kind of make some uh, uh, predictions I guess you would call about maybe what happened with this person you have to realize this thing is 30 years old the report that all this happened now about 30 years old so uh, a lot of this, what we're doing is, of course, assuming. Hey, Jimmy. Jimmy. Come over here for a second. Jimmy's working the thermal. Uh, Jimmy is currently in law enforcement, and he he does not want to get on camera. I, I, I totally understand his position and everything, so he's going to be behind the camera and, and just talk. Now, I've showed him the scene where the hunter was uh, ripped apart and everything and we're just going to talk about it y'all are going to be a fly on the wall in this conversation and hear from a law enforcement background somebody who's seen a lot of blood a lot of guts and everything else and so i was telling richard about how the body was torn apart and there was not a lot of uh, blood go ahead and tell me what you told me richard uh there's see, if a body's torn apart um it's going to bleed i've seen people with their took a shotgun blast to the head, fell backwards down a hill, and they were flat by the time all the blood ran out of them. Um, a head wound will bleed like a stuck pig, too. Well, let me ask you this. Um, the way the body was described to me and what I've seen with the crime photos, a lot of the stuff, the four pieces, was torn off. How is that even possible? Um, a lot of strength. Yeah. Um, you know, usually when you get limbs torn off, it's from car wrecks or um, stuff like that. So you got to figure that's got to be at least the force of a car wreck, a car accident, a rollover car accident. Right. And one of the things that, that a lot of the people were talking about with this scene was he had a round in the chamber and he basically didn't even have a freaking chance. Does something like that, I'm going to move the camera while we're talking because we're seeing movement over here. Is there a chance of, I mean, I guess there is a chance of something to be an, him being ambushed because it happened. Have you ever seen anything like that in your law enforcement career? Um, ambushes happen on a regular basis just with people. Right. They'll, they'll, get, they'll call, make a, a false call to a location and start shooting at you. Um, in the woods, I would probably say that they would have, especially the way the ground is, uh, they could probably sneak up right up on you. You never would know it. But think about this, though. Look, you're up in a tree stand. You're mm -hmm. looking for movement. He has the tactical advantage. Right. But if it's dusk, if it's getting loose, you're losing light, I guess right. that. And... I mean, so what did you think about when I told you a story? And Richard's a very good close friend. We talk about Bigfoot quite a bit. He has an interest in it. What did, not... So what, I mean, what do you think? Um, I think it's very possible. I've, I have yet to be out on a hunt where we've seen any that have um, violence towards people. 
that doesn't mean that there aren't some that are. Um, and if the guy's by himself, maybe an opportunity, opportunistic thing for what our, he may have shot at one of them, and yeah. that was what, you know. Yeah. Well, and one of the things that the Forest Service people are telling me in one of the rangers is that the hog population in this area mm -hmm. just this year has decreased to, to zero. And a lot of people are saying, well, they moved through an area, and they're telling me that they, they've seen the actual bodies where these hogs are being killed, and they can't quite figure out um, why. I thought that was very odd. You know? Oh, that is odd. Uh, but, you know, if we're talking about an alpha predator uh, with a size that's anywhere between 8 and 10 foot and 6 to 1,000 pounds, I mean, they're going to have to have a certain intake of calories to exist right um, they can't um they have to keep that up every day so i would imagine a pig is pretty good protein for them probably not a ton of calories but you know the fat around the pig would be you know calories yeah yeah all righty guys we're going to move on down a little bit i hope y'all have enjoyed this uh fly on the y conversation and I do this protect uh, Jimmy because he's in law enforcement and he's still currently, he's supposed to retire. And when he retires, I'm actually looking forward to him joining my team and being a huge part of my team because he has a lot of good instincts. These old growth southern forest. That bird, I think it's uh, not a falcon, I think it's something else. I'm sure one of you guys will tell me. It has been cutting up since I pointed the camera over this area. Since we've been out here. Let's see if we can see any kind of movement. It's quiet, ain't it? It is quiet. All right, guys, we're back. The crows and them, the other birds, not a bird expert, have flew over toward this direction. And when they did, I, Jimmy was talking, and I heard, I heard some movement in the woods. And I don't know, could be a deer, could be anything. And we're gonna see if we can see anything. Y'all sit here and watch.
Alright guys, I'm going to try some whistles. You think pop it on a thermal? <laughs> 